I have been a huge Indiana Jones fan for as long as I can remember, and this is the first new set of toys in quite some time. This is the new Indiana Jones Worlds of Adventure. This is a 2.5 inch scale line, and it's got figures and accessories, and let's just move on with it without boring you anymore. Look at this art. I think this art is really cool. It's kind of a cartoony take. You can see Indy running. He's got the idol. He's got his whip. He's carrying a backpack, and the big famous boulder is rolling right there behind him. I really, really like this art. I would love to see a cartoon or a comic book or something utilize this art sometime in the future. I just, I think it's amazing. This is the Indiana Jones with Adventure Pack Pack set, and this is a plastic-free packaging. Over here on the right side, we're going to get that focused in here. The only thing that we met, care about on the right side is these are the other releases. So you've got the horse set and you've got this motorcycle set. There are three sets in all. On the back, you've got kind of a detail, kind of a everything is laid out of what you're going to get in this box. Boulder Idol, and we'll get to it. And on the left side, there's a little bit of instructions of how you utilize the backpack. But enough of that. Let's get this out of the box. I didn't completely take everything out yet because I opened this up and I thought this was really cool. This is almost Indiana Jones-like, having him hooked up here, wrapped up in some contraption or rope, you know, some, some obstacle for him to get out of. So anyway, let's get this stuff open. We've got this bag. I'm just going to pour it all out there. We're going to try and pour it all out. The boulder got stuck. There we go. That's it for that. We got Indiana Jones, and yeah, you know what? He's in there. We're going to have to help old Indy out with this Sharpie. Not Sharpie. The heck. With this X-Acto knife, and remember, cut away from you. I've had a recent experience, or that was kind of a problem. We're going to cut this free. The snake. Oh, man, snakes. He does not like snakes. I have a huge correction to make. I said this was a snake. I can't believe I did that. This is his whip, duh. So anyway, you've got the backpack. Well, actually, let's take a look here at Indy first. This figure, it says in the box, is about 2.6 inches high. I said 2.5 earlier. We'll do a comparison with the only other small action figures that I've got. These are the micro series of Fortnite figures, and they're about 2.5 inches. So you, as you can see, Indy is just a little bit taller. And bringing in, my closest handy four inch action figure who's going to tower over him you can kind of get an idea of how tall he is right there so we'll set the main star off to the side take a look here let's at this backpack here so it is decked out there's a hole here which and we just brought him back but that'll go on his back oh my goodness it's the sucker is dragging on the ground he's gonna like fall <laughs> i pushed him over he didn't really fall over by the way well actually now he did but that's pretty pretty nice this backpack it opens up and you can put things inside of here check that out it's got compartments you could grab the idol and tuck the idol in actually there are numbers here uh it says two and two but you could like tuck things in you know when he's he's got things he's got to tuck them away there is a knife that could slide right in here like that there's a torch which Let's, maybe the torch will go, there we go, torch will go into the back, no it won't, what am I saying? There's a spot for the torch right there on this side of it, and then the whip, I guess, could go like right there if you wanted it to. It's kind of an interesting position. He's got uh, kind of C-shaped hands, his articulation, there is a forearm rotation, there is a head ball joint, and the legs at the waist are independent and they each. So this is essentially was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven points of articulation. Nothing in the wrist, nothing in the ankles, nothing at the knees, nothing at the waist. Man, you know, they could have added just a few more points. I get what they're going for. I will say that, oh, hey, the, uh, his, his arms can come out. That was something I missed as well. So maybe like nine points of articulation. This isn't bad for the type of line that this is supposed to be. I was actually concerned that maybe this would be a figure that when he moved one leg, they both went up. But luckily, they are definitely independent. I think these would be a lot of fun to play with. I'll just say that right now. I think these would be a total blast to play with. 
and maybe that's just because I'm starved for some sort of Indiana Jones toy line. I don't know. I hear there's Legos coming out. I can't wait to see those. Who knows? We might have, might have to look at some Lego sets here on the channel at some point. He comes with this massive spider. Look at this spider. It's like as big as his body here. That's a massive spider. And there is the snake. This is the thing he is most scared about in this world. You put one of those there and he's going to be like running away. <laughs> Look at that snake. That's cool. So then, uh, let's pull out the torch. Let's give him the torch. There, he can hold the torch. And we'll take the whip away as he's walking through the cave. I gotta do some photos. I gotta, like, do some stuff with this. He's exploring around. And then suddenly, let's look at the boulder next. This does hook together. There is a little bit of a notch and a little bit of a peg over here. So you know exactly how to put this thing together. If I can line those up. There we go. And you got the boulder. So... Well, we're just going to make up something. You know, he's exploring here. Oh, hey, check that out. The boulder just fell apart on me. <laughs> oh, let's get this boulder back together and see. Snap, snap. There, there we go. <laughs> we got rolling boulders. He's just walking along in the cave and there. Ah! I don't know. This is great. I love this set. I love these things. Now I know this is not highly detailed. I know this is not highly articulated. I know this is not highly whatever you want to add in there. It's a fun set. That's what it is. It's fun. There's imagine there's a little bit of imagination here. And that's what I think a lot of kids and people need nowadays. Get that imagination working. One cool thing is hmm, most of the items can be stored in this boulder kinda for storage oh you could almost store Indy in here too you could almost store Indy inside the boulder if it was a little bit larger of a boulder you could have put everything in here and that would have been really cool just to have everything tuck away inside this boulder and it'd been a bigger boulder a bigger boulder for Indy to run from. Although, if he's in this backpack, he's not going to run very far. Although, yeah, well, no, he does kind of tip backwards a little bit. There, look at that. I kind of like it, too, because Indiana Jones here, this, uh, for his, this is kind of like uh, stuff from Raiders of the Lost Ark. And uh, he was younger back then, of course. But this is like an, a cartoony young Indiana Jones. And... I like it. I think it's really neat. I think a younger generation could possibly identify with it quite well, I think. Let's give him his whip. Give him the whip. There we go. We're going to extend the whip. Extend is the proper term. Extend the whip. <laughs> <laughs> this is Indiana Jones and the Adventure Backpack playset. I think this is a lot of fun. And if you've got kids or you know kids, I think this would be a pretty cool set to get.